Earth is covered in an intricate system of caves that go much deeper than you could imagine. To balance out the artificial spaces, humans create above ground. Nature has created an equal number of underground ones. Unlike up here, much of the furniture consists of hard floor surfaces, rather than soft couches and TVs. Before you wonder, why am I telling you a sci-fi movie plot? Scientists have discovered a 3 million year old cave, and what they found is incredible. So let's not waste any time. Keep watching to see the 10 most mysterious things found in million year old caves. Performing on skeletal bones, the Paris catacombs have gained notoriety as one of the world's largest ossuaries. Its network of underground passages is home to the remains of about 6 million people. And that's not all of the dead that lie there. The location is equally attractive to criminals and paranormal researchers. In 2004, French law enforcement uncovered such an offense, albeit there's no way they could have predicted it. Most people who break into the catacombs stay long enough to snap pictures before they leave. However, in 2004, police found out that a group of trespassers, exact number unknown, had made the catacombs their home. Additionally, what kind of mansion lacks a dining room and theater? The cops discovered what is described as an underground amphitheater with terraces cut into the rock and chairs, and an informal cafe and bar, according to The Guardian. Behind the bar was a selection of liquors, including whiskey, as well as tables, seats, and a pressure cooker, all of which might have been used to whip up some couscous. Someone even went so far as to state, the whole thing ran off a professionally established electricity system, and there were at least three phone lines down there. A surprising discovery in the heart of a huge, forbidden graveyard. Hobbits. A team of archaeologists discovered human skeletons that could not be explained in 2003 in the Liangbu cave on the Indonesian island of Flores. The bones belong to adults, and although being near cousins of modern humans, Homo sapiens, these people were only about three feet and a half in height. They were quickly dubbed hobbits, and the term stuck. The discovery stunned scientists because prehistoric humans were far smaller than any other species, even dwarfing the smallest African pygmies by a full foot. Many anthropologists, understandably, attributed the skeleton's small stature to an illness. However, current research strongly suggests the opposite. The hobbits, or Homo floresiensis, were in fact healthy, upright, and highly intellectual humans. They were the size of hobbits by pure chance. Frustratingly large skulls. Meanwhile, another cave made headlines for the wrong reason while discussing ancient skeletons. There were some incredibly large bones discovered in the Pangshin Didong cave. More than 40 extinct mammal species, mostly large pack animals and herbivores, were discovered by archaeologists excavating one of the Pangshin Didong tunnels in southern China. The problem was that the cave was perched precariously on a cliff face 1,600 feet above the ground. There were hundreds of bones found, including those of extinct rhinos, elephant-like stegodons, and even a creature called Gigantopithecus that looks a lot like Bigfoot. Burn marks and slashes on several of the artifacts indicated that humans had manipulated them long ago. However, the topic of how our ancestors initially brought the animals to the summit still needs to be answered. The Spectre of a Witch The story of the Crone of the Catskills developed from a casual Reddit post made by a couple of unknown hikers into a pervasive contemporary enigma. Back in 2016, the explorers were investigating tunnels in New York's Catskill Mountains when they came across a spooky effigy a tiny wooden figurine of a woman with a rope around her neck and nails in her eyes was kept in a separate alcove. Both hikers debated whether or not to take the cursed object, but in the end, one did. According to the original poster, his pal can't sleep at night because Beijing keeps waking him up because the statue keeps shifting from its spot. He is very perplexed because someone knocked on his door, but when he opened it, no one was there. The item's backstory truly begins to unfold once it is donated to an occult museum. Ancient Maya Sacrifices at Belize's Sacrificial Cave Belize's Acton Tumichel Mago has been excavated extensively and has revealed a wealth of fascinating Mayan antiquities. 
The Cave of the Crystal Sepulchre is a clue to the most famous discovery made within its walls. No, Indiana Jones. Don't go there. It was obvious that human sacrifices had taken place in the cave. Skeletons, killed by humans, were scattered among altars, decorations, and ritual objects. Some of them, even as young as one, have already begun to show signs of skull shaping. The totally crystallized bones of a 17-year-old boy, originally identified as a girl, are the true prize, earning the moniker the Crystal Maiden. Calcium crystals have entirely encased his bones, making him look nearly like the world's most terrible snow sculpture. His vertebrae are broken, and it is speculated that he died slowly and horribly, his anguish stored forever. Little pieces of the Dead Sea Scrolls, ancient biblical documents dating back over 2,000 years, are discovered by archaeologists. We still haven't uncovered all of the Dead Sea Scrolls. Thus, technically, they were never discovered. In their place, thousands of scroll pieces keep turning up. Since the 1940s, archaeologists have unearthed shards from Israel's Cave of Horror, and in 2021, even more were found there. In the 1960s, 40 Jewish bodies were discovered in the cave, giving rise to its infamous moniker. Archaeologists determined that they were killed by Roman soldiers sometime in the second century. Upon returning to the cave in 2021, archaeologists discovered numerous additional Dead Sea Scroll fragments oddly buried with the mummified remains of a young girl who had died about the year 6000. It's all happening in the Klerksdorp sphere. Caves provide a great area for odd geology to evolve, even if it takes millions or billions of years, because they are shielded from much of the weather and biology of Earth. As a result, strange rocks and crystals keep turning up, sometimes evoking awe and sometimes feeding the belief in ancient aliens. Among these is the Wolfsegg Iron, or Salzburg Cube, which was unearthed in a mine in the 19th century. Some thought it was a meteorite and others speculated that technology altered its shape before it crashed into Earth. The numerous Klerksdorp spheres are another case in point. Despite being 3 billion years old, they appear to have been cut with great accuracy by machines. In truth, though, they are both only the results of peculiar geological processes. Ghost Cave, a site of cannibalism and skull cups. The Cheddar Man, the earliest complete human skeleton ever unearthed in Great Britain was discovered in Gough's Cave, a vast cave system in Somerset, England. Darker artifacts, including human skulls used to make drinking cups, have also been discovered in the caves. The discovery of multiple human bones with cut marks consistent with cannibalism is not uncommon for artifacts of that antiquity. However, the skull mugs catch folks off guard. Pieces of skulls as young as three years old have been discovered. Their surfaces flattened into drinking cups. Wonderful drone footage of the world's largest cave in a tropical forest. Consider Sun Doom underground in Vietnam, which includes the largest cave chamber in the world, as a brief respite from the darker things found in caverns. The cave is so large that a little rainforest grows within its rocky confines. After the original Garden of Eden, the rainforest was dubbed the Garden of Adam. The garden is a genuine rainforest, not just a bunch of cave moss. Inside the cave, Trees can reach heights of several hundred feet. There is a thriving ecosystem among the trees, home to insects and monkeys. Discovering the garden was a pleasant surprise that came about by chance. 100 years old and still using an axe to kill. Decapitated body found in Cave Joseph Henry Lovelace, sometimes known as the Fugitive Bootlegger, was a hardened criminal. The police arrested him in 1916 on suspicion that he had killed his wife Angs with an axe. Loveless escaped prison with the help of a little saw blade he stashed in his shoe. There's no chance they're still alive. The process of finding Loveless again was brutal and time-consuming. In 1979, a family in Buffalo Cave, Idaho, discovered a decomposing and identified torso wrapped in a burlap sack. In 1991, after looking for another 12 years, a matching hand was discovered. This led to the recovery of the two missing legs and the missing arm. After 18 years, DNA testing suggested the body might be that of the missing Loveless. The 87-year-old grandson of Loveless himself gave DNA evidence to elucidate the findings further. After 103 years, 
the remains of fugitive murder suspect Joseph Henry Lovelace have been positively identified. How he died is unclear, although some believe Agnes's relatives tracked him down and exacted their vengeance. Do like, share, subscribe, and share in the comments below what you think about these weird cave findings.